Good Sunday. This is the David Bennett Show. I'm Rich Crampanis. We come to you this week from Cullowee, North Carolina, on the campus of Western Carolina University. This weather up here in Cullowee, it could have been 30 and raining or sleeting, so a 50-degree day. Thank the good Lord first, and I'm glad our seniors can go out you know, with seven wins, and uh, man, we appreciate Coach Gilmore who stopped by with the three games left to play. I asked him to come speak to the team, and he said, raise the bar. Raise the bar, win the last three, have seven wins. It's the most since 06, set the bar for the next group, and our guys answered the challenge. Coach, this is a tough road trip. you got to climb up a mountain to get here. Yep. Uh, one and 19 with an interim coach. I mean, it, 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 this team, it was a dangerous game. We knew they'd fight hard, and they hit us with some trick plays, the double reverse pass, and they hit us with a touchdown right before the half, you know, to get it to 24-14, and it wasn't over yet, but I was glad our offense came out and got one. Jump into the action from Saturday afternoon here in Cullowee, North Carolina, between the Shawnee Clears and Western Carolina. First drive, Coach Travis Small from Chura. Big run to the 31 yard. Line. Yep, Travis is running well, and he's not quite there yet. He's getting there, though. And then here's uh, Aramis Hillary with a pass to Matt Hazel. Slips down right here. Coach, you, you got a fourth down and 18. You decide to go for it, and you can't get any points. Yeah, the wind was kind of a little bit in our face right there, and we figured, hey, we might could hit it and get it down there, but nope, didn't get it. So it stays scoreless, and then Western Carolina would drive down, set up for a field goal, but here's your special teams unit, and check out old Moon Edwards scooping it up. Yeah, Moon scooping, running. We were saying, go, baby, go. So that was a big play in that game right there because they could have gone up 3-0 on us, Rich. And now Coastal goes to work on offense. Travis Small picking up seven yards here, and then Coach Hillary to Chris Presley to the 44-yard line. Yep, CP, uh, you know, that tendonitis, he's still finding a way to fight through it. Very proud of Chris Presley. And then, Coach, for the second time this season, Mike Lamoli makes a catch, the senior from New Jersey. What a what a, a great football player and an even better young man. He's an awesome guy. They hit him one time, he didn't retaliate, and they were all mad we didn't get him a touchdown down there. And that sets the stage for third down, Hillary to Jamie Childers, 15 yards, 7 nothing Coastal. Beautiful play, beautiful throw. Glad, oh, Jamie, he kind of hit a concussion from us this week, we found out, and he got it again, you know, a little bit today, so he was dinged up. Proud of him. 6.04 to go with the first 7 nothing Coastal. How about some Shauna Clear defense? A lot of sacks in this game, Coach. Here's Desmond Stewart with a little help from Johnny Hartsfield. Yeah, very proud of Desmond, a senior. We are going to miss him. Douglas, Georgia, same high school as Mike Tolbert. And, Coach, the offensive line was phenomenal in their final game. Travis Small, this is how you envision Travis Small running, get a face mask tack on 15 more. Yep, and I love Travis, but you know what? Love uh, Marcus Whitener, Jeremy Hyde, all of them. I don't care who runs that rock. Just take care of that ball and go. Segways perfectly to the next highlight. Marcus Whitener, 19 yards. You're really rolling here, Coach. Yep. Got to do it. Got, got to blend it in. You can't just live by the run or the pass. You got to be able to mix it up. I thought Coach Brown did a great job of mixing it up. Mixing it up indeed. Third and four. Small picking up a first down here. Sets up a first and goal for Coastal Carolina. Coach, you can't get it in the end zone. Uh, Matt Hazel awfully close here on the fade. Yeah, Aramis threw it a little bit too far out there. Uh, Matt was trying to get it, but give him a chance, baby. Give him a chance. Grant Clayton from 26 yards puts it through the uprights. It's 10 0 Coastal. Western would answer, Coach George Richards with the touchdown catch here. It's 10-7 early in the second. Yeah, I like being up two scores, but when they get that touchdown, we're not up two scores anymore. We got to go to work and get another one. And like you said, Western Carolina throwing the kitchen sink, onside kick. Boy, unsung hero, Tyler McCarthy recovers it. Nice job of awareness. Yep, I love old Tyler McCarthy. He's got two more years with us, Rich. Can't wait to watch him keep growing. And then Dexter Holman delivering here, recovering the fumble. Coach, you get the ball to 27. Yep, uh, great job by Dexter. I thought he played great in his final game as well. Third and six, I thought this was a great play call. You go with Aramis on the draw right up the middle, nine yards and a first down. Yeah, one of the few that Coach Brown let me call right there. They were in a 4-1, only one linebacker set, so great job by Aramis. And that would lead to this. Aramis Hillary from two yards out. Coach, well, he got the wind knocked out of him. He was staggering there to the sideline. Let me tell you something, watching them on film, they held out last week to four field goals, their first four drives, so they're tough when it gets down there on the goal line. And poor Aramis here on the sidelines fighting for oxygen up here in the mountain. Yeah, great job by Western hitting him right there. But great job by Aramis getting it in. Coach, your defense really was aggressive. Quentin Davis with a couple of good plays here on this series. Yeah, proud of Quentin. He kept his composure, didn't retaliate, and that's what you got to do, be selfless. 
A lot of guys playing tough. Jamie Childers with the catch here to the 32, but this would end his afternoon out with a mild concussion. Yeah, great job on the bootleg, but got hit in the head right there. And I'd certainly love to see him get well to play in that FCS All-Star game, Rich. There you go. Then Jeremy Height running for a first down to the 22-yard line. Jeremy, I thought, got in there. He's just getting over that quad bruise he's had for about three weeks, so I thought he ran well as, as well as uh, Whitener and Smalls. But Aramis... Hillary would lose the handle here. It would push you out of field goal range. I thought this was the biggest play of the game, Coach. I don't know if I've ever seen a player drop it so close to the goal line. Unbelievable. That ball just kind of started spinning like a golf ball right there on the one yard. As a matter of fact, it was closer than the one. It was like on the inch line right there. Great job, Austin Kane, and he was picking on Blake. Said, I'll punish you today. Tyler McCarthy downing it there. Phil Mickelson would be proud of that. I thought Johnny Houston had a safety here, Coach. Yep, uh, we thought he had a safety right there, but didn't give it to us, but he's going to get the touchdown. That's right, because Jeffrey Sally and Desmond Stewart bring the house, and Johnny Houston, look what I found, a touchdown. Johnny was Johnny on the spot right there, as they used to say. Great score for the Shauna Clears. That's got to be the Waccamaw Land and Timber Rewind. <laughs> Coach, you called it, and there it is, the Waccamaw Land and Timber Rewind. Thanks to the good folks, the Henson boys, for supporting us all season long. It's 24-14 Coastal at the half, third quarter. Coach, you're going to miss this guy. Boy, what a great play by Marcus Lott. Yeah, Marcus Lott, I hope he can play in that FCS All-Star game as well, and just a Awesome young man. He's the poster child, man, for coastal, for football, college football, middle school ed, whatever. Love Marcus Lott. And then here's a nice run by Marcus Whitener, setting the stage for Travis Small to get that ball over the pylon from three yards out. Whitener set him up, and then we bring in Small fresh. What a great extension by Travis. Great job getting that ball in the end zone. More defense. Here's Chris Thomas with a sack. CT, we said that he loves to boot to his left because he's left-handed. Be ready for it. Good job by uh, Chris Thomas. Coach, I think this was the knockout punch, and uh, I think your eyes got as wide as saucers when Matt Hazel was wide open. Yep. A little hang it up. Man, lay the ball, get some air into that Aramis. Great job protecting. Way to lay it up. Matt just got behind him. 58 yards. It's 38-14. to 14. That's one of the best balls that Aramis Hillary threw this year. Uh, now, at this point, you're get, still rolling the offense. Boy, I thought Akeem Wesley almost had a spectacular touchdown catch here. He almost busted this one out. Yep. Uh, Akeem's got a lot of talent, and we look for a great year out of him next year. He'll be a senior. More coastal defense now. Derek Frazier with the pressure. Dexter Holman with the sack. Yep. Big Dexter. Showed out in his final game, so very, very proud of Dexter Holman out of uh, Houston County, Georgia. Coach, you were able to go deep in the rotation as far as the running backs. Nice run here by Bucky Kennedy. Yep, proud of Bucky. He got in there and did some good things. Aaron Jones and Zach Silverberg. And for all the bad luck Coastal's had over the years, it's about time fortune shine on the Shauna Clears. Matt Hazel can't hang on to it, but Akeem Wesley, right place, right time. Oh, my gosh. We told Matt on the sidelines when he got over there, get in the weight room, son, have stronger hands. But, yeah, Pookie was right there. Good job by Akeem coming over. Those guys were teasing me, saying that that play was drawn up, and I have to politely disagree with them. That's a negative. That was not drawn up that way. But nonetheless, it's six points. Akeem Wesley from Coffee County, Georgia, makes it 45-14. to And then, Coach, from there, you turn to your run game, and here's another great run by Bucky Kennedy. Yeah, Bucky made a great run and hit their guy, about knocked out their kid. And uh, so, very proud of Bucky. And that Coach James doing a good job with those guys, teaching them. Secure the ball. I think we. I don't think a running back turned it over today. And how about Aaron Jones here? This he needs to look at this play. This is what Aaron Jones should be doing on a consistent basis for the next couple of years. You're exactly right. Turn them legs. Stay low. Turn them legs. You're a big man, son. Good job, Aaron. And a chance to say goodbye to a couple of seniors here. Derek Frazier with his final sack. I know you're going to miss him, Coach. Oh, my gosh. You're going to miss him so much. Corey Hawkins is going to get one as well coming up in just a second. And here it is, Corey Hawkins, and I know everyone was fired up to see him get a sack. Seahawk is one of our best guys. Does a great job speaking at middle schools at our Crow program. Blythewood High School out of Columbia, South Carolina. We just thank his mom and dad, all those seniors, for entrusting their kid with us. Coach? On the road against the Southern Conference team, very impressive. 45-21 to 21 is your final. Coastal closes out the season on a three-game win streak. Yep, proud of our guys. Open the season with a win over a SOCON team and a great program, Furman, and then get the one at the end of the year against Western Carolina that's going to get much better. Time for us to take a break. When we come back, we'll head back to Cullowee, North Carolina for post-game reaction. You're watching the David Bennett Show presented by HTC. Waste Management presents Where Are They Now? A look back at former Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. 
James Brochu was a linebacker at CCU from 2003 through 2005. So what is James up to now? Uh, currently, I'm uh, the linebacker coach at Guilford College up in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, prior to that, I was at Duke University under Coach Cutcliffe, and I uh, was there for three years as the defensive intern. I work with uh, Jim Collins and the linebackers. Before that, I was at uh, Northern Illinois as a graduate assistant football coach under Joe Novak. Uh, currently, I'm living uh, in Huntersville, North Carolina. Where Are They Now is presented by Waste Management, a proud sponsor of The David Bennett Show. In life, there is a common thread that binds us. It's not always something we can see or hear or touch. The connection that brings us together as people. People who feel that technology adds up to more than just wires and plastic. But the thread that binds us together in the most important facet of our lives, connecting with it. HTC. This is life. Connect with it. A and I, over, t over the years, we've had working relationships. They've handled fires, water losses, wind losses. They've been there for us so that we could be there for our clients. Their professionalism, their follow-up, it, it has been absolutely flawless. If everybody did the work as they promised to do, like A&I does, we'd be in real good shape in this town. When disaster strikes, we're the ones to call. A&I does it all. Locals love three crats for lunch. They say it's the fresh salads, fantastic wraps, and seafood baskets. But when you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed three crats attitude. On the Marsh Walk in Merrill's Inlet on Celebration Lake in Florence. Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers need to concentrate on playing their best, not worrying about what to do if an injury occurs. As Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, we offer all our patients comprehensive orthopedic care from our team of renowned specialists. So no matter what your game, you can stay on top of it. Strand Orthopedic Consultants and Coastal Orthopedic Associates, proud to be the team physicians of the Coastal Carolina University Chanticleers and sponsors of the Dave Bennett Coaches Show. Today, you can find healthcare information almost everywhere. What you can't find is a single reliable source to guide you through your options when you or your family needs medical treatment. That's why News Channel 15 has partnered with Conway Medical Center to produce a new one-of-a-kind resource, your help, your decision. It will help you understand your treatment options when you or someone you love needs care. Stay tuned for more information on your health, your decision on News Channel 15 and carolinalive.com. Welcome back to the David Bennett Show. It's time to hear from Coach Bennett's staff and their thoughts on Saturday's game. This week's coordinator comments are being brought to you by Coca-Cola. Yeah, yeah, the kids really came out and played well and executed everything that we wanted them to do. Uh, we're, OL really took over in the run game. That's why we thought, thought they were a little weak and we wanted to really attack. Those guys did a good job and we hit some big plays overhead when we had them creeping up. They, they play hard. They play really hard. I was excited about the how active they were. We're making plays, making sacks, getting after that quarterback. We knew if we could get to them, we'd have a lot of success for the day, and it was able to happen. I put them in some bad situations that time. We put them in man coverage, and they match protect, and they had time to get it off. And I hate it. I did that to our safeties and corners. But, again, we did a good job of winning the ball game today. I'm really proud of Austin. He's worked hard every game this year, even when his back's been against the wall. And what a great day for him to have some success against his older brother. Uh, you thank you to Coca-Cola for sponsoring our coordinators' comments, and we got three great guys there, and uh, our kids played hard. You know, give a lot of credit that our seniors could go out with seven wins and three games at the end, and uh, just very proud of those seniors. Taking a look at the stats, Coach, boy, something about playing the last week of the regular season. He had seven against Charleston Southern, and uh, this time 279 yards on the ground, 213 through the air, 492 to 261, you outgain them. If we can get 490 every week, we got a chance, Rich, and take care of that football. So proud of our guys getting 28 first downs to their 14. And taking a look at some of the individual numbers, we hope it's the first of many. Travis Small, 109 yards and a touchdown. Uh, really, I think a lot of confidence for Travis heading into next year. Yep, just got to keep getting him bigger and stronger, and he's got good hands. And all those guys work hard right there with uh, Coach Keith James. But I promise you this. Unless the offensive line does a good job, they're not going to get very much. So give a lot of credit to that offensive line. Aramis Hillary, 213 yards, three touchdowns, and one pick. We talked to him and a whole bunch of players after the game. Yeah, real tough game. Um, uh, I think we did a great job. Uh, everybody was focused in. 
Uh, all the guys were pumped up about the seniors going out with a bang. So uh, we pulled together, and I think we did a great job offensively and defensively. Um, it feels good. You know, it gives us a little uh, momentum going into next year, give us a reason to work hard, you know, knowing that, you know, we, we, we can play hard next year and, and uh, we, can get a lot, we, can get a lot of, we can get a lot of good results. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's always sad. It's going to be like the last game that I'll ever play. But, I mean, I enjoyed it. You know, we beat these guys. I mean, we did what we were supposed to do. So, you know, I, I'm just enjoying it, man. I'm just enjoying it. Yes, man. It feels good. We got a lot, you know, so we can look back on and look up to, like, 74. So we got building and building each year. So next year is going to be pretty, pretty impressive for everybody. Yeah, it, it was, man. Especially the last game of the season, it was just great to have that uh, go out on top. You know what I'm saying? All those sacks we had and just good plays. So it was fun. It feels good. Without the O-line, we, we couldn't do it. Um, O-line blocked their tails off tonight, and that's what we want every, every game. Uh, I got to give it all up to the O-line because without them, we couldn't do anything. What about your confidence, though, heading into next year? Next year, I, I feel good to be in the rotation. Uh, I want to make my mark and let the coaches know that I can be a part of the rotation and, and I can get the job done. Man, it's just no my like when I seen how far it was, man, I just seen how you know my eyes got big, but Craig Aramis, man, he, he he threw a heck of a ball. I didn't really expect to get out there that far, but you know, Aramis just put it right there and just cruised on the end zone. Man, it's crazy, you know, it, like it's probably gonna be a momentum, it's gonna carry a little momentum to next year. You know, uh just you know, it, we just had so many everything was open, you know, it felt like we could we can hit on all cylinders. It, Everything I couldn't ask for more. I don't have one regret playing here. I think this was the best decision I ever made. I love those guys. I love the coaches. I mean, I couldn't ask for more. So we, we've been waiting for a game like this all season where a defense held the offense on the other team, and we were just able to click as an offense and move the ball. So, you know, it was a, it was a great way to finish the season and the senior's career. It really was. Our HCC peak performer from the Western Carolina game, Travis Small, the pride of Chura, South Carolina. 18 carries, 109 yards and a touch. Very proud of Travis, but he will be the first to tell you it was the offensive line that deserves the credit, not him. And for the final time, it's the Conway Medical Center injury report. Uh, physical game, Coach, couple of concussions, and Desmond, boy, he played like a warrior. Two concussions with Jamie Childers and Quinn Backus, but thank you to Conway Medical Center for sponsoring our injury report. Hopefully next year we won't have as many on there. Time for one more break. When we come back, it's time for Sean's Corner. We'll spend some time with Derek Frazier when the David Bennett Show continues right after this. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by Palmetto Chevrolet, a &I Fire and Water Restoration, Creek Rats, Conway Medical Center, Bojangles, the Britton Law Firm, and HTC, title sponsor of the David Bennett Show for the past eight years. Hello, I'm Tommy Britton. Along with my children, Case, Preston, and Mary Madison, I practice law here in Myrtle Beach. We're now known as the Britton Law Firm. We're all graduates of Walford College, but we're great supporters of David Bennett, Coastal Carolina football, and the great university Coastal Carolina has become. It's been a pleasure over the years to sponsor this program. The Britton Law Firm, all claims, trials in all courts. Come get that relaxed Greek rats attitude on the Marsh Walk in Merle Center and overlooking Celebration Lake on South Cashua in Florence. With my HTC wireless phone, I'm always connected to the world around me. Whether it's simple everyday things like a call from a friend, a text from my daughter, or even an update to my Facebook status while I'm out and about, HTC connects me with the things that mean the most. HTC is your wireless headquarters for back to school. Get three months of HTC residential high-speed internet free with new HTC wireless service. HTC, this is life. Connect with it. Welcome back to the David Bennett Show. It's time now for Sean's Quarter, brought to you by HTC. This is life. Connect with it. Welcome to the Brown Locker Room here in the Atkins Field House for our Sean's Corner segment. We've got senior Linebacker Derek Frazier from Orangeburg, South Carolina. And Derek, got a couple of questions for you. Okay. Number one, growing up, who was the biggest influence in your life? Um, growing up, the biggest influence on my life would have to be my my father and my mother. Um, also, uh, his he's a high school coach now. His name is Justin Danner. I would say they were, were my biggest influence because uh, they pretty much got me to where I am today and taught me um, what I needed to know. All right. Thus far, what's your best Coastal Carolina memory? 
Uh, my best Coastal Carolina memory will, uh, will be this past season and uh, us beating Liberty. That was my best Coastal Carolina memory. Okay. If you could have a redo in life, what's something you might would redo? Um, if I could redo anything, I would redo the way I performed in class, in my classrooms, in studies um, from last semester because, of course, um, of course, everybody knows that I didn't play last year um, because of it, but um, I would redo that if I could redo anything. Okay. When you hear the phrase – Game day, what happens to you, Derek? Um, I do get goosebumps. Um, I also think about the crowds. I think about the noise. I think about my family and friends watching me, and I just think about everything that went through that week to, to get us to that point and just being able to go out there and execute everything that we did and come out victorious. That's what I think about. Okay, and the um, last thing, you can pick any coach you want off our staff. <laughs> And imitate that coach. Who is it? And let's hear you do it. Um, it'll have to be uh, Coach Walker when we don't uh, have the right spacing in our alignments when we're on the field. He always says, Bump Backers. <laughs> so um, that's the that's the uh, Coach Walker. He's the he's a he's a he's a great guy, but he always tells us to bump over when we when we're not lined up when we're supposed to. So, so you, do you hear that at night sometimes? Bump. Huh? Yeah, I, I hear it all the time. That and, and um him calling out plays and telling us what we're doing wrong and th different things like that. So I hear all of it. Okay. Thank you. Sean's uh -huh. Corner with Derek Frazier. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by Waste Management, Coastal Orthopedic and Strand Orthopedic, Coca-Cola, Crescent Bank, and HTC, title sponsor of the David Bennett Show for the past eight years. All right, guys, it's crunch time. The game's on the line. You played great so far, but you got to finish the job. You got to finish the job. You're the team everybody wants to be. Come on, guys. Let's go show them why we're the champs. Right now, get the longest lasting, most versatile, and most fuel efficient lineup in America at Palmetto Chevrolet. No one has more consumer digest best buys for the 2010 model year than Chevrolet. Coastal Carolina Chanticleers and Palmetto Chevrolet, a winning combination. And nobody beats a Palmetto deal. In life, there is a common thread that binds us. It's not always something we can see, or hear, or touch. The connection that brings us together as people. People who feel that technology adds up to more than just wires and plastic. But the thread that binds us together in the most important facet of our lives, connecting with it. HTC. This is life. Connect with it. It's time for a Bojangles blast from the past. The date, October 23rd, 2004. The Liberty Flames came to Conway and couldn't slow down the Shantz ground game. Mike Tolbert busted this 52-yard run. CCU racks up 285 yards on the ground against the Flames in a 33-6 route. It helped spark Coastal's run to its first Big South Conference championship. Blast from the Past is brought to you by your Grand Strand Bojangles, proud sponsors of The David Bennett Show. With the 2011 season in the books, it's time to look back on the top 10 plays from Coastal Carolina and their seven-win season. Uh, just a uh, good play right here by Josh Norman, a big pick to stop their drive. They're trying to tie it up 7-7, a great interception. Josh had a heck of a game. Coach, I want to take a look at this again, and I want you to pay attention to Quinn Backus with the pressure here. Wow, he gets him right as he releases the ball, which helps cause an underthrow, and great job by Quinn Backus applying the pressure and Josh getting the pick. And Jamie Childers is going to make another big-time play. Great corner route, and uh, Kevin Brown said Hammer suggested that. Coach Small and I said, glad you're giving some input there, Hammer. You're 61 years young. About time you gave some input, and uh, great touchdown right there to put us up 14 points. That was just a beautiful ball and great pattern. Beautiful route by Jamie and beautiful throw by Aramis, putting it on the money. How about Deshaun Davis out of Mullen, South Carolina? Great concentration there, Deshaun. Deshaun Davis, <clears throat> senior out of Mullen. Great job there, concentration. Oh, I thought he caught it and dropped it three times. Yeah, some big plays by Josh in this game. Uh, he blocks the field goal right there, picked up right there by, uh, I believe that's Phillip, Phillip George out of Keenan High. Great job. Josh has got great quickness coming off that edge, and he got a jump on the snapper. He timed it up just right and blocked it. And here's Aramis Hillary, and what a ball yeah. to Matt Hayes. Good job by Aramis. He got him to jump off sides, so you got a free play. You know, they called him off sides, but we're going to take a free shot at that thing. Great air on the ball to Matt Hazel out of North Augusta, South Carolina. We got a 
keep getting him more and more involved in our offense. And it deserves another look with our Waccamaw Land and Timber Shots Rewind. Thank you to the Hensons of Waccamaw Land and Timber. Great air by Aramis. Great catch on the outside shoulder. Way to get that thing in the end zone, Matt Hazen. What a play here. That's a huge hit by Phillip George. Quentin Davis scoops it up. Yep. Uh, Phillip George timed it up on the blitz. Hit old Richard Mounts. We scoop it. and We don't get any points out of this, Rich. You've got to score when you get turnovers like that. And that really uh, certainly hurt a little bit. Another look there. Wow, Phillip George, that's one of the best hits I've seen, Coach. Yeah, Phillip George had a good day. Has a pick at the end of the game, secured a win for us. As we catch him in cover two here. We secure the safety with the inside guy. DeMario goes to the hole between the corner and the safety. Jamie sticks it in there. The Crescent Bank chalkboard. Coach draws it up, and there's the execution. Childers to DeMario Bennett, 35 yards, and Coastal's got the lead. We needed that. We needed that big time, and uh, – Force him to a field goal right here. Unbelievable by Marcus Lott. Marcus just jumps up. Take a look at Lott right there. I can't believe how high he got up. Well, Y'all did a great job getting it on camera too, you and Ed. That's a, that's a great job. Great, uh, a great job there by Marcus Lott. Telling you what, what a great throw and catch by Matt Hazel going up in double coverage to get a touchdown right there. We didn't score some points in the first quarter, but had a much better second quarter, Rich. Coach, this one was pretty. I, I, was, uh, I was lucky to get the best view in the house for this one. Thanks to that catch by Jamie Childers, it sets up the Crescent Bank chalkboard in Aramis Hillary, Coach. Yeah, great read here by Aramis. He's reading that end. If that end closes down, he'll pull it. Uh, kind of an option game out of the gun. Uh, great job blocking by our guys, and Aramis takes that thing to the house. 39 yards for Aramis Hillary, Coach. This is one impressive run. Great job. I can't believe 13 didn't go low right there. Thank goodness he didn't, and uh, we get a touchdown to get on the board. You always like to score first, Rich. We'll take a look at it from up top. Whitener sells it well. Yeah, he does. But he's reading it. He's reading it. 99 kind of didn't know what to do right there. And Aramis does a great job getting it in the end zone. Good downfield blocking by our guys there, Rich. Well, Coach, uh, a late entry in the top 10 plays of the year. We're going to show that Akeem Wesley catch from Matt Hazel. It'll share number one with that Aramis Hillary touchdown run against VMI. Yeah, uh, you know, you got to have some great plays. And, uh, and, have a great season, but I think it was a good season. Next year, we'd love to have a great season, and uh, we'd like to thank all the people that came to Cullowee and followed Coastal Carolina all season. Coach, this team had some tough times. Uh, certainly the losses to Stony Brook and Liberty, yep. the ability to pick themselves up and finish with three straight wins, a seven-win campaign, your best since 2006. Yep, they showed a lot of character, a lot of integrity, a lot of self-will, and uh, just proud of them. They, they, we've got to keep working on the selflessness and discipline, Rich, but very proud of our guys and our seniors raise that bar. Coach, on behalf of everybody at WPD, it's our honor to work with you each and every year. It's a lot of fun, and uh, congratulations on finishing strong. Well, thank you, Rich. We love y'all and appreciate y'all, and uh, thank y'all very much. All right, that'll do it for the coach. I'm Rich Grampanis. We'll see you next season as the David Bennett Show comes to a close in 2011. A big 45-21 win over Western Carolina and a 7-4 record. The David Bennett Show is brought to you by People's Underwriters with two locations in Conway and Carolina Forest. Visit peoplesunderwriters.com. Locals love Creek Rats for dinner. They rave about the seafood dinner special. Baskets, po'boys, wraps, and burgers. When you experience those incredible waterfront views, you get that relaxed Creek Rats attitude. On the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet and on Celebration Lake in Florence. My HTC Digital Cable Service delivers all my favorite shows, movies, and sports entertainment. We always crack up watching comedies on video on demand and raise the roof cheering for our favorite sports teams in high def. HTC offers all the channels and features I love and connects me with the ones who mean the most. NFL Network and NFL Red Zone provide the most extensive weekly coverage and put you in the action with every touchdown. Now available on HTC Digital Cable. HTC. This is life. Connect with it.